Welcome back to JEM Auto Repair. This is part two on a 2006 Ford Taurus with an anti tap problem. We located the relay, the PCM relay that we need to test first. And to do this testing, we're going to be using this four channel scope. ATS from Mr. Bernie Thompson is one of the best tool in the market. You can use what you have available. You can use the multimeter to, to check the power set grounds. But we choose to use this tool because we can record and go back and analyze data. What you guys see right now, we got channel one connected to the power going in and we have channel three, the power going out of the relay. And we also are connected to the ignition power coil wire. That wire powers part of the PCM, part of the, some of the sensors, uh, some of the uh, solenoids. So we're going to do this simple test and find out if there's if that relay is actually doing his job. We also, uh, what we, we're using here for this relay, we have this Lyle tool kit. It's a pretty cool tool, tool kit they sell. You can jump, jump the relay and get power, connect your bow meter or like we're using, you know, or a scope. Uh, my uh, technician friend is going to help me do the recording we're gonna deep record let me know when you're ready Fred okay go ahead Eric okay as y'all can see that we have got power going through hey, all wires I'm on right now and I'm trying to crank it Okay, he is trying to crank the off. engine. On? Nothing? Okay. Nothing still? Yeah. Let's uh, analyze this data. Let's see what happened here. Okay, guys. When I turned the ignition on, momentarily we had power going in here. If you guys can see, channel one, let me turn this channel first. Channel one. Is the power going into the relay constant when it was on and the relay was on power then i turned it off went off then I, uh, for a moment we paused we turned it back on and let's look at the power coming out of that relay and find out what's going on with it that'll be that trace that's actually that channel two is connected to the coil wire and that's uh as you guys can see right here for for a moment we had power going in and then it dropped but if you look at the yellow trace, we have constant power right here in this section right here. That was ignition on. I was trying to crank it. We see this uh, glitches right here. I was trying to actually try to get this car to start and, it, and nothing. And look at what happened to the other traces. We are, momentarily, we only had power and then went off. The problem we have here, guys, there's a voltage drop on that relay. We know there's a problem with this relay by looking at power going in, but not coming out. Momentarily just dropped. What we're gonna do is switch the relay. You can do a simple test. You can make sure, you can swap relays and find out that uh, uh, if this relay right here is the same. If it look, they look identical, we can, we can do that test. Let's, let's do that test for a moment right now. Find out. But first of all, before you do that, what you guys need to see, you hear something going on? What you guys need to see first, what's a relay for? It's always good, it's always best to check. Okay. Okay, we're on 2006. We go on the relays. Go fuel location all right okay that really that's our PCM really right here next to it that's AC really yeah so we can use that test to, for testing we can use that testing okay let, let me try to start right now can you uh, deep record again one more time No. 
Go ahead. Okay, guys. This vehicle is running. You guys can see, the problem in this car is a relay. This very simple fix. Because you can see the power going in and going out. If you, uh, let me turn this off real quick. That's my power going in, and that's my power going out of the relay to the PCM. And this is the coil wire, which is the red, uh, the, the red trace. We got plenty of power right there. That's the way it should look like, all right? As you guys can see, it was just a simple relay, the problem. Don't just throw parts in the vehicle, guys. Check your parts and ground, check your relays. Because a lot of the times, you know, 90% of the problem is just powers, grounds, and corrosion in the wiring, voltage drop. It could be as, as simple as a relay. So don't, don't get caught up, guys, on codes. Codes doesn't mean anything. It's just one direction where to go. And I hope you guys learn uh, a good uh, uh, experience on, on this 2006 uh, Ford Taurus with the anti theft problem. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. What's that tell you, man? <laughs>